So I've come here today to answer a question. And that question is, what on earth do you do, such as during lockdown, when all these sites are closed and there's really nothing to photograph? So I thought we'd come here, which is just about the emptiest landscape you could want to. It's actually about half a mile from my house. I've actually walked here today with all the camera kit. A nice little walk. We've got a beautiful tree. We've got lots of open space. Let's see what we can do with that. That's the story I was going to do. However, I've just realised that this beautiful landscape, we're actually about to lose it. And I'm going to show you exactly why. So just over my shoulder here is where the new road's going to come through. And it's going to literally tear a course directly through these fields, across to the main road, which is just about two miles that way. It means that the town's going to suffer because there's not going to be as much through traffic, which is a mixed blessing. It means that the shops are going to struggle. However, the historic buildings will now be protected against the diesel fumes and smoke and rubbish particulates that have covered them. A lot of the white buildings down there are decidedly grey. So I've got mixed blessings about this. I've been visiting this tree for oh, the last 30 years and I'm just hoping by the looks of the road course it might just about be saved. I'm really hoping it is. Uh, the tree's old and dead but it's been a landmark here for so long but uh, I really hope they do save it. I'm going to take some pictures of that right now. I'm going to try and get one more with the road not in the picture. Of course, when I come somewhere like this, I'm really looking for things like leading lines in the fields where they've ploughed or textures of the bushes or the grass, little wildlife, you know, things in bushes are always good. You often see rabbits and birds and things around here. We're really lucky here because we've got quite a good population, there aren't any around at the minute typically, but we do have a population of red kites and they're the most majestic birds to take pictures of. However, sometimes when you come somewhere like this, you have to switch your mind like for example we've got this road being built and this is our chance to take a picture of historical significance because this isn't going to be under construction for long you can already see that they're putting the road signs in they've laid quite a lot of the foundations and it's just a case of putting the tarmac on and we've got a very small window we pre presented with this opportunity for a very small window to take a picture of the actual construction phase while the machines are there. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a few pictures across here. In fact, I'm going to find myself a little gap in the bush. Let me turn the camera around slightly and then you can see exactly what I'm doing. Got a little, there's just this little gap in the bush here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through here being careful not to damage the field in the process and now I've got an unobstructed view of the construction phase see now the thing is I've done what most photographers do bought a fantastic camera spent all my money on the camera and didn't leave anything over for lenses so I've only got a 55 millimeter zoom on here 18 to 55 so I can't get very very close into the action but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the video off because the Lumix that I'm filming with it's a G7 I've actually got a 150 mil zoom so I'll take an image with the Lumix which is something I don't normally do and we should be able to get right onto the construction phase and have a good look see what they're doing driving through days and nights so this is Purry End. We're actually at the end of Toaster now. There's going to be cars going past, so sorry about that. Quite a busy road. But this, if you look down this road, it goes into a deep valley. And that valley is where Queen Bodicea is reputedly made her last stand. We're very lucky in Toaster to have and be surrounded by all this history. And that history is still evolving today. We have Silverstone Race Circuit just about three miles to our left. We've got the Queen Bodicea's last stand just behind me. Toaster is an emerging town and that's getting busier and busier 
as time goes on, we're expanding more and more. This was the original proposed route for that bypass. They had to shelve that because of the history that goes through this area. It's now going to join up further down there. So this was also the location of the most epic photograph I ever took. Unfortunately, I was riding my bike. I just completed the YouTube bike. The video is going to be linked up here. And uh, I was on a bike ride. I was actually testing it on the test run. And I just laid my bike up against this particular hay bale right in this fence. And I stood back and just quickly took a picture in the middle of the road looking towards Toaster with that sign in the background. Didn't think much of it. Had a cup of tea here because I carry a flask on my bike. Rode down the road back to Toaster. Didn't think anything of it. And when I looked at the picture, it's actually one of the most epic photographs I've ever taken. And I get a lot of comments on that particular photograph. And at first I was a little bit ashamed to say, actually I took it on my smartphone. But it just goes to show that the best camera you have is the one that you've got with you. So I'm still on the bridleway and I'm just crossing where this new road is going to be built. I'm actually stood in the middle of what's going to be a, a dual carriageway. So two lanes one way, two lanes the other. You can see where they've carved it out down here. You have to be in awe of the scale of what's going on here. It's just a massive development and they're just carving up the land ready for traffic to flow through and make the economy better. But it does mean that we've got to switch from being a landscape photographer now almost to a photojournalist because this should be documented. This is only going to be in this stage once. And once it's built, it's going to be here for years and years and years. And nobody will remember what happened before the road was here and also when the road was constructed. So I'm gonna dig my Fuji out now and take some shots here. I won't bore you with taking them, uh, just of the construction as it is at the moment. Mm -hmm.